Hello everyone, my name is Abraham and I'm here in Normandy, France, specifically in Caen. Yesterday we saw the sights of Caen, today my co-counsel Amy and I are going to be seeing the Normandy beaches, and then tomorrow we'll be seeing Bayou, a small town nearby. So come along and join us. We saw so many different sights on this trip that I can only show you a few highlights. Caen is notable for both its medieval and its World War II history. William the Conqueror's tomb is located in the Men's Abbey, which dates to the 11th century. He built this castle, which is now one of the largest medieval castle ruins in Europe. But the whole purpose of this trip was to see the Normandy battlefields. So we met up with our guided minivan tour from the Con Memorial and headed out. First stop was Point du Hoc, where our knowledgeable guide Lena explained how U.S. Army Rangers use grappling hooks and ladders to scale the bluffs and take the German shore battery. The bomb craters burnt timber from the flamethrowers, and scars from the bullets and grenades are still visible. Next stop was just down the coast. I'm standing here on Omaha Beach, site of the most fierce fighting on D-Day. 1,000 American soldiers died on this beach within a course of just a few hours. On the bluffs overlooking Omaha Beach is the American Cemetery, containing the graves of over 9,000 American servicemen. Our final stop of the day was the so-called Mulberry Harbor, where the Allies constructed an artificial harbor to supply the liberation of Europe. Visiting Normandy was both amazing and sobering at the same time. On the last day we saw the British Cemetery and the pleasant little town of Bayou, with its imposing cathedral and the Bayou Tapestry, which tells the story of the Norman conquest of England. After a great trip, it was time to finally head back to Strasbourg. Well, that's all for this video, but I will see you on the Thursday video. Until then, my name is Abraham, and I am standing where you can be standing next summer.